The percentage of people complaining with jumper's knee or apexitis, so knee tendon pain, can run up to 14%. So a lot of people will experience this type of injury. But what should you do about it? Well, in this video, I'll explain what to do and especially what not to do. Hi, and welcome to YourPhysio.online. Before we go to the exercise videos on how to treat your jumper's knee, let's start with the three things you definitely need to avoid. The first one, anti-inflammatories. Anti-inflammatories can have a place in your knee tendon rehab, but only in the acute phase of your rehab. Because anti-inflammatories slow down the healing process and could slow down your rehab. So if your rehab is still in the early stage, so an acute stage, you can use anti-inflammatories. But if your knee pain is in a chronic phase or you have complaints for a couple of weeks, try to get rid of them as quickly as possible. But also try not to use anti-inflammatories if you already had this complaint multiple times. The second one is not respecting your pain. Having tendon pain after or during exercise is your body trying to tell you that you need to slow down your activities. But a little pain isn't bad. We mostly advise people to have a pain maximum of 3 to 4 out of 10. And the pain should lower within 24 hours after the exercises. So instead of running or jumping through your pain, try to respect it. The third thing to avoid is absolute rest. Absolute rest won't make your tendon stronger or more durable. And that's exactly what you need. You need to make the tendon more durable so it can have more load. And studies have shown that resting too much will only make your tendons get weaker and weaker. So the moment you put on your runner's shoe or step on the soccer field, your tendon irritation will start to flare up again. So instead of taking complete rest, try to get a good exercise program. And a good exercise program will make your tendon stronger and less painful. A good exercise program in the first phase consists of slow and heavy exercises. So no jumping or running exercises. And that doesn't mean that you can't do jumping or spring-like loaded exercises in your rehab schedule, but not in your first phase. If you gradually increase your tendon load, you'll be able to start running mostly within three months. But let's start with some exercises for the first phase. Let's start with a Spanish squat. This squat is perfect for that slow, heavy resistance I just talked about because most of the squat time you just won't be moving. It's also called an isometric squat. And what you want to do is you want to place a belt or a thick elastic band around the pole and you step into that elastic band with your legs. Now you just go into a squat and hold that position for 45 seconds. Try to go as deep so your pain is around the number 4 out of 10. After this 45 seconds, come up and take a 2 minute rest from knee tendon movements. So you can do some core or calf exercises, but don't do knee exercises. After this 2 minute break, do 4 more sets of the Spanish squat. Let's move to the second exercise, an eccentric step down. Stand behind the step and place your good leg on the step and push up. Now take place on your irritated leg and slowly step down to the front. Try to take about 4 seconds for this movement. Again, step up with your good leg and repeat the exercise 15 times. Take a 30 to 45 second break in between and repeat the exercise for 4 sets. Let's move to the next phase. We're going to start with a regular knee extension exercise. You can try to do this exercise at home with an elastic band, seated on a chair or just use a leg extension machine. Sit on the machine and extend the knee in 2 seconds. Slowly come down in 2 seconds and repeat the exercise. Make sure that your pain is around 3 to 4 out of 10 and repeat the exercise 15 times and do 4 sets of them. Another exercise is just a normal squat or leg press. Try to squat down in 2 seconds and come up in 2 seconds. Keep the pain level at around 3 to 4 out of 10 and slowly increase the knee angle till 90 degrees over your training sessions. Let's move to a more dynamic phase. In this phase, you can start to do more dynamic movements. Make sure that you keep looking at your level of discomfort and slowly increase the load or speed of the movement. 
Slow heavy resistance exercises are easy for tenon, but more speed-like exercises like jumping or running are harder for a tenon. So keep an eye on how your tenon reacts. Let's start with a small dribble. It's just like you're running, but you keep it at your place. Keep doing this movement for 45 seconds before taking rest for 30 seconds. And after that, repeat the exercise a total of five times. Another dynamic exercise is the two leg jumps. Squat a bit down and jump up. And don't immediately jump to the ceiling, but try to increase the height of your jump as your rehab progresses. Do 20 reps of this exercise and take a 30 second break in between. Repeat the exercise for five sets before going to the next exercise. As your knee progresses, try to include some jumps to the front. Start with two legs before progressing to one leg. And try to keep doing this type of exercises even if you already complete your whole recovery and return to sport. But before you can return to sport, you need to run through your last phase. And the last phase is more of a return to sport phase and is dependent on the sport you play. If you do marathon running, you need to do more longer duration exercises. And if you play volleyball, you need to do more smash and high jump like movements. And if you play field hockey, you need to do more of a longer duration of low seated positioning. And slowly increase the load and try to return to your training before returning to games. All right, I hope that this video helped you in what to avoid and what type of exercise to do if you're experiencing knee tendon pain. And make sure a pain-free knee doesn't mean that your tendon is healthy. It only means that you can gradually build up the load in the tendon. So you can build gradually back towards your sports or daily activities. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more health, exercise and rehab related videos. If you know somebody with knee tendon pain, send them this video and if you need personal help with your knee pain or discomfort or you just need a check of your exercise schedule, consider booking an online appointment with our specialized physiotherapist. This was Arjan and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.